Sadhana Ragunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Vitam Sya Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyana Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Gurava Bhistam Supurakam Gurgana Rasisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipunam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Bidam Ujvalam Varatanum Bhaktyan Bidam Sundaram Bande Vishwa Gurunsha Dibyad Bhagavad Prem No Vibija Pradam that, that stand, that's for uh, Madhusudamar, that metal stand. <coughs> 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 Gurava Bistam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambushitam Chincha Chincha Samastaveda Nepanam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Bidam Ujvalam Bharatanum Bhakyan Vitam Sundaram Manve Vishva Gurunsha Divyad Bhagavat Prem Nawe Bijapradam Devam Divyad Tanum Suchanda Bharanam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sadeka Bharanam Vairagya Vidyamburim Shri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Varam Banditam Shubaram Mareka Sharanam Nashishvara Shidaram Mansha Kopata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Nam Pavinibyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namonama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavishenama so we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Prabhupada. This is Madhya Leela chapter 11 and text number 132. Now I have a suggestion, bring this thing much closer because I, I saw in a few, yeah, when it was close then it appeared good and when it was far away it looks like you're looking through a fishbowl. I see only the only the eye here, the bird. See. I see only the eye of the old bird. All right. All right. Apanani kate prabhu sabha basala apani shri haste sabare maya ganda dila Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made all the devotees sit at his side and with his own hand he offered them garlands and sandalwood pulp. Bhattacharya charges tabe mahaprabhu stane jata jogya mililas sabakare sane after this, Gopinathacharya and Sarvabhom Bhattacharya met all the Vaishnavas at the place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in a befitting manner. Advaitere Kohen Prabhu Madhura Bhachane Ajiyami Purna Hoilana Tomara Agamane Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu addressed Advaita Charya Prabhu, saying, Sweetly, my dear sir, today I have become perfect because of your arrival. Speaking of arrivals, uh, we brought Parvat Maharaj back to the ashram last night. So, so he's upstairs. Good. Mm -hmm. Still has a lot of things he has to do with medicine and all that. But he's in good mood. Maybe we can arrange a loudspeaker to his room. Oh, he can get the loudspeaker, right? Uh. Advaita kohe ishwarer e svabhava hohe jajabhiya pane purna Sarvaishvarya moe tathabhi bhakta sange hoi sukalas bhakta sange korin 
Nitya Bibida Bilas. Dwaita Charya Prabhu replied, This is a natural characteristic of the Supreme Lord. Although he is personally complete and full in all opulences, he takes pleasure in the association of his of his devotees, with whom he has a variety of eternal pastimes. Vasudeva Deki Prabhu Anandito Haya Tare Kichu Kohe Tara Angi Hastadiya. As soon as Mahaprabhu saw Vasudeva Datta, the older brother of Mukunda Datta, he immediately became very happy and placing his hand on his body began to speak. Jajapiya Mukunda Ama Sange Sishu Hoite Taha Hoite Adika Sukha Tomare Dekite Ma Prabhu said, Although Makunda is my friend from childhood, I nonetheless take greater pleasure in seeing you than in seeing him. Vasudeva Datta was the older brother of Makunda Datta, who was a childhood friend of Ma Prabhu. It is naturally a great pleasure to see a friend, but Ma Prabhu informed Vasudeva Datta that although it was his pleasure to see his friend, his pleasure was increased by seeing the older brother. This is, you know, this is, what this basically says, it acknowledges that Vasudeva Dutta is a, is a very, you know, a very great devotee. That's what it's acknowledging. Vasu kohe mukunda do bhaila tomar sangha tomar chanana paila se punar chanma. Vasudeva Dutta replied, Mukunda got your association in the beginning. As such, he has taken shelter at your lotus feet. That is, that is his rebirth. Chota hoya mukunda. Ebe hoila amar jeshta tomara kripa patra tate sarva gune shreshta. As Vasudeva Dutta admitted his inferiority to Makunda, his younger brother, although Makunda is my junior, he said, he first received your favor. Consequently, he became senior to me. Besides that, you very much favored Makunda. Thus, he is superior in all good qualities. Puna Prabhu kohe ami tomara nimite. Dui Pushtaka Anijachi Dakina Hoite, the Lord said, For your sake only, I have brought two books from South India. Swaruperatai Tai Ache Loha Talikia Masudeva Nandita Pushtaka Paya. The books are being kept with Swarup Damanar, and you can get them copied. Hearing this, Vasudeva became very glad. Do we need another stand? I don't know. Is it still? Oh, look, this thing is like snapped at the top here. <coughs> I think Gumby has gummed his last bee. Yeah, he won't grip on there. Let me see. <coughs> mm. Hmm. Oops. I have something here. In the orange bag. No, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to. Oh, this won't work either. I have something else in my bag. No, 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 no. Here, take this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Maybe his is better. No, let's see yours. Oh, it's nicer. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah. Hey, man, I'm not. Thank you very much. This is this will work. Oh yes, this is perfect. What a wonderful gift. <laughs> what do you say? Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Okay. Did the phone break? No, the phone's fine. Okay. Gumby said I quit. No, you got it. 
We repl we, what did they say? We regret that there is a temporary glitch in our transmission. You need the Indian head thing. Indian head? What is it? I don't know. It's like reversed now. Oh, then. So uh, don't rotate your phone. You, you, if, you, if you do that, if you start moving it, now it's going to come out sideways again. No, it's not sideways. It's still turned. Oh, that's how it goes. What's this done? But it's still reversed. Hmm. I don't know how to unverse it. Oh, that camera thing. Right there. Oh. Okay. What's this? It's called an Uzi. <laughs> I think, look. It's shooting mode. It kills the competition. Uzbekistan, what does it say? Ah, oh, it's dropsy time. <laughs> it's raining devices. See what minute it's at now because it said rotate your thing, so I think we're no, going to hit. We're, we're in good mode. I can tell by the way the buttons are. It's, it's right away. Okay. <clears throat> Every time we use this, we will think of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours, Maharaj. No, we'll get another one. Ooh, ooh, Lanzi. I can get myself on when I get back to Australia. Yeah, but you're, you need this here because we got, we have the... Um, we can share. No. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Back to our reading. Puna Prabhu Puna Prabhu Koheami Tomar Nimite Dui Pustaka Ati Jachi Daki Nahoite. The Lord said to Vasudeva Data, for your sake only I brought two books from South India. Swarupera Thai Anche Loha Talakia Vasudeva Nandita Pushtaka Paya. If anyone's seeing this at the present time, text us sh saying that the, the transmission is in the right mode. Okay. Swarupera Thai Anche Loha Talakia Vasudeva Nandita Pushtaka Paya. The books are being kept with Swarub Dhaminar, and you can get them copied. Hearing this, Vasudeva became very glad. Pratyeka Vaishnava Sabe Likiya Loila Krame Krame Dui Granta Sarvatra Vyapila. Indeed, each and every Vasu, each and every Vaishnava copied the two books. By and by, the two books, the Brahma Samhita and, the, and Sri Krishna Karnamrita, were broadcast all over India. Shiva Sadhya Kohe Prabhu Kori Mahaprita Tomarachari Bhaira Ami Hoinu Bikrita. The Lord addressed Srivas and his brothers with great love and attention and affection, saying, I am so obliged that I am purchased by you four brothers. Srivas Kohen Kenil Kaha Biparita Kripa Muye Chari Bhai Hoi Tomarakrita. Srivas then replied to the Lord, Why are you speak, speaking in a contradictory w way? Rather, we four brothers have been purchased by your mercy. Shankare dikiya prabhu kohe damudare sogaraba priti amar tomara upare. After saying this, Shankar. After seeing Shankar, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Damodar Pandit, my affection for you is on the platform of on reverence. So he says, my affection for Damodar, he says, Sogorava Priti. Sri, which means Sa, Gorava Priti, affection with on reverence. Shuddha Kevala Prema Shankaru Pare Ateva Tomar Sange Rakaha Shankare 
Therefore, keep your younger brother Shankar with you because he is connected to me by pure unalloyed love. Shuda cable up ring. So, and we can see this later in their activities. Sometimes, sometimes uh, Dumbledore Pandit would correct. I hear it says the Lord is addressing Dhammadhar Pandit, who is different from Swarup Dhammadhar, of course. Dhammadhar Pandit is the elder brother of Shankar. Thus the Lord informed Dhammadhar that his affection toward him was on the platform of on reverence. However, the Lord's affection towards his younger brother Shankar was on the platform of pure love. And we'll see this later in the pastimes of the Lord because Dhammadhar Pandit, sometimes he would correct the Lord as if he, you know, correct his social dealings, make comments. But Shankar Pandit was very closely related to the Lord, and later, when the devotees were concerned that Mahaprabhu in his ecstasy would rub his face against the wall and sustain injuries, they put Shankar Pandit in the room with Mahaprabhu, and Shankar Pandit would stay awake all night watching Mahaprabhu, and sometimes Shankar Pandit would doze off, and Mahaprabhu would put his quilt on him. And Shankar Pandit became known as, because sometimes Mahaprabhu would rest his head or feet on Shankar Pandit, Shankar Pandit became known as the pillow of Mahaprabhu. So he was very closely related with, with Mahaprabhu. So. Mahaprabhu tells Dhammadar Pandit, you're the older brother and your relationship with me is on the relationship of awe and reverence. But my relationship with Dhammadar Pandit, your younger brother, is on is Shuddha Kevala Prem. He's like very natural, unalloyed love. So Dhammadar Kohe Shankar Chota Amahoite Ebe Amar Borabai Tomara Kripate. Dhammadar Pandit replied, Shankar is my younger brother, but from today he becomes my elder brother because of your special mercy upon him. Shivanande Kohe Prabhu Tomara Mate Garanu Ragahoi Jani Agehoite. Then turning toward Shivananda said, the Lord said, I know that from the very beginning your affection for me has been very great. Shuni Shivan. What was the word for word on Anurag? What? The translation for Anurag. The translation for what? Uh, Anurag. Anurag. We, we haven't, I don't see where we have come across that word here. I don't, I don't, we, we haven't, we haven't, I don't think we've come across the word Anuraga here. Oh, okay. Oh, I see where you are. Shivananda Kohe Prabhu Tomara Amate Gada Anuraga Hoi Jani Agi Hoi Te. All right. Then turning towards Shivananda Sen, the Lord said, I know that from the very beginning your affection for me has been very great. And the Gada Anuraga, deep affection. Shuni Shivananda Sen, Prema Vista Hoya, Dandavad Hoya, Pade Shloka, Padiya. Immediately upon hearing this, Shivananda Sen became absorbed in ecstatic love and fell down on the ground, offering obeisances to the Lord. He then began to recite the following verse. Nimanjato nanta bavarna vantas chirayame kalam ivasi labda tvayapi labdam bhagavan idanim anutamam patram idam dayaja. O my Lord, O unlimited one, although I was merged in the ocean of nescience, I have now, after a long time, attained you just as one may attain the seashore. My dear Lord, by getting me, you have obtained the right person from whom 
the right, you have obtained the right person upon whom to bestow your causeless mercy. Okay, there's a verse from the Stota, Stotra Ratna composed by Alabandaru Yamunacharya. Pratame Murari Gupta Prabhure Namiliya Mahirete Pariyache Dandavan Hoya Murari Gupta at first did not meet the Lord, but rather remained outside the door, falling down like a stick to offer obeisances. Murari na Dekiya Prabhu Kore Anveshan Murari Loite Dhanya Aila Bahujan When Mahaprabhu could not see Murari among the devotees, he inquired about him. Thereupon, many people immediately went to Murari, running to take him to the Lord. Trinadui Gucha Murari Dashane Dariya Mahaprabhu Agigela Dunyadina Hoya Thus Murari Gupta, catching two bunches of straw in his teeth, went before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with humility and meekness. Morari dekia prabhu aila milite pache bhage morari lagila kohite upon seeing morari come to meet him mahaprabhu went up to him but morari began to run away and speak as follows morena chuniya prabhu muita pamar tomara sparsha jogya nahi papakolebar my lord please do not touch me I am most abominable and, and am not fit for you to touch because my body is sinful. Prabhu Kohe Murari Kora Doinya Samvaran Tomara Doinya Deki Mora Bidirna Hoyaman. The Lord said, My dear Morari, please restrain, restrain your unnecessary humility. My mind is disturbed to see your meekness. Etabole Prabhu Tari Koila Linga Nikate Vasaya Kori Angal Samarjan. Saying this, the Lord embraced Morari and had him sit down by his side. The Lord then began to cleanse his body with his own hands. Acharya Ratna Vidyanidi Pandita Gadadar Gangadas Haribata Charya Purandar Pratyeke Sabar Prabhu Kori Gunagan Puna Puna Alingiya Kori Saman Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then again and again embraced all the devotees including Acharya Ratna Vidyanidi Pandit Gadadhar Ganga Das Haribata and Acharya Purandar The Lord described their good qualities and glorified them again and again. So. So let's put a li this a little bit into, you know, the context of what's happening. Mahaprabhu has returned from South India. Before going to South India, he was only a few months in Jagannath Puri. So we can say this is really the first arrival of the devotees of um, Mahaprabhu to Jagannath Puri all the devotees coming from Bengal. This is the first time they've come. Because before, when Mahaprabhu came from, uh, from the house of Advaita Charya in uh, Shantipur, four persons came with him. M Mukunda, Mukunda Datta, Damodar Pandit, uh, Jagadananda, and Nityananda Prabhu. They were the four who accompanied Mahaprabhu. Then Mahaprabhu was with Sarvabhom Bhattacharya and hearing from him, bringing him into Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Then shortly thereafter, Mahaprabhu departed for South India. And he was gone for, you can imagine, some, some time. It's been suggested two years he was gone. Now he's come back and the devotees have been informed uh, through Krishna Das going to Bengal, that Mahaprabhu has returned from South India, and very eagerly they've all come to meet with Mahaprabhu. So, as far as as far as I can tell from this context, this is what's happening now. All the devotees have arrived here, and Mahaprabhu is greeting him, and that's we can say the greeting is somewhat special, because it's the first time they've come, and these are all the close 
associates of Mahaprabhu all arriving, and, and he's very happy to see all of them, and he's glorifying each one of them. So, saying this, the Lord embraced Morari and had him sit down by his side. The Lord then began to cleanse his body with his own hands. Acharya Ratna Vidyaniti Pandita Gadadhar Gangadas Haribhata Acharya Purandar Pratyeki Sabar Prabhu Kori Gunagad Puna Puna Langiya Korila Saman. And you can understand what that's like. Maybe, you know, they're traveling Mahaprabhu's affectionately. Like, uh, cleansing dust from the, sh from the clothes of Murari Gupta. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then again and again embraced all the devotees, including Acharya Ratna, Vidyanidhi, Gadadhar Pandit, Gangadas, Haribhat, and, Ach and, and, Purandar, and Acharya Purandar. The Lord described their good qualities and glorified them again and again. Sabare Samani Prabhu Hoila Ulas Haridase Nadekiya Kohe Kahan Haridas. After thus offering respect to each and every devotee, Mahaprabhu became very jubilant. However, not seeing Haridas Sakuri, he inquired, Where is Haridas? Durahoite Haridas, Gosai Dekia, Rajapata, Prante Pari, Ache, Dandavadhaya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then saw in the distance that Haridas Thakur was lying down flat on the road, offering obeisances. And this is a natural behavior of Haridas Thakur. He's very, his great humility, and he doesn't draw himself too close to the other devotees. He always keeps himself, you know, feeling himself not worthy, he keeps himself a little, a little apart. And, Milana Stania se Prabhure na Milila Rajapata Prante Dure Pariyarohila. Haridas Sakur did not come to the Lord's meeting place, but remained flat, fallen flat on the common road at a distance. Bhakta Sabdanya Aila Haridas Niti Prabhu Tomai Milite Chahe Chalaha Twarite. All the devotees then went to Haridas Sakur, saying, The Lord wants to meet you. Please come immediately. Haridas kohe mui nicha jate char mandire nikhate jate moranahi adhikar. Haridas Thakur replied, I cannot go near the temple because I am a low caste, abominable person. I have no authority to go there. Nibhritte tota madhyes stana jadi pan tahan pari raha ekale kala gonaya. Haridas Sakura then expressed his desire. If I could just get a solitary place near the temple, I could stay there alone and pass my time. So Haridas saying he can't Haridas feels himself to be unworthy of being near the temple. Now Mahaprabhu's place at the Gambir is somewhat near the temple. But Haridas is afraid of you know, later he expresses he's afraid that some of the pandits or pujaris of Jagannath may touch him if he's near there, and that will be an offense on his part. So Haridas Thakur then expressed his desire. He says, uh, I cannot go near the temple because I am a low caste, abominable person. I have no authority to go there. If I could just get a solitary place near the temple, I could stay there alone and pass my time. Jagannath Sevakera Mora Sparsha Hoi. Tahan pari rahan mor e banjahoi. I do not wish the servants of Lord Jagannath to touch me. I would, re I would remain there in the garden alone. That is my desire. E kata lok giya prabure rohila shunya praburamane bora shuka hoila. When the message was relayed to Mahaprabhu by the people, the Lord became very happy to hear it. In a, what's this? 
Hinakali Kashi Mishra Padicha Duijan Asiya Kurila Prabhur Chanana Bandan. At this time, Kashi Mishra, along with the superintendent of the temple, came and offered his respect. Came and offered his respects unto the lotus feet of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sarva Vaishnava Deke Sukabara Paila Jata Jogya Sab Sane Anande Milila. Upon seeing all the Vaishnavas together, Kashi Mishra and the superintendent became very happy. With great happiness, they met with the devotees in a befitting manner. Prabhupada Duijari Koila Nibedane Agyadeho Vaishnavera Kori Samadane, being submitted to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, both submitted to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Please give us orders so that we may make proper arrangements to accommodate all the Vaishnavas. Sabara Kori Jache Vasa Grihastan Mahaprasad Sabakari Kori Samadan. Accommodations have been arranged for all the Vaishnavas. Now let us distribute Mahaprasadam to all of them. Prabhu Kohe Gopina Jaha Vaishnava Loya Jahan Jahan Kohe Vasa Tahan Deha Loya Let's see. So they're both expressing Kashi Mishra. Mahaprabhu is in Kashi Mishra's house. The Gambir is in Kashi Mishra's house. And he and the superintendent of the Jagannath temple were expressing, we want to do whatever we can to serve the Vaishnavas. And accommodations have been arranged for all the Vaishnavas. Now let us distribute Mahaprasadam to all of them. Prabhu Kohe Gopina Jaha Vaishnava Loya Jahan Jahan Kohe Vas Vasa Tahan Deha Loya Mahaprabhu immediately told Gopina Dacharya, Please go with all the Vaishnavas, please go with the Vaishnavas and accommodate them in whatever residences Kashi Mishra and the, and the temple superintendent offer. Mahaprasadana deho banina stane sarva Vaishnavera iho korive samadane. So this mood of wanting to accommodate all the Vaishnavas and giving them proper residences and everything, that's what we saw for years from you know, from uh, Madhusuda Maharaj when he was Mahananda and also from, and what? From Govinda Well, from Govinda Maharaj, but you were the agents along with Vishaka also. Vishaka very much accommodated the devotees and you did also. Well, that's what they're, uh, you know, they, the, Yes, that's true. You know, as best as best the devotees could. When we went to London, Italy, you know, we were dealing with quarter. You know, facilities where the large number of devotees who were traveling with Govinda Marsh and who came to be with Govinda Marsh, you know, were like expanded the facilities they elastically they expanded very much and sometimes i mean in london sometimes people were going to uh ga to, to i guess facilities like petrol stations <laughs> near the temple and you know to use a laboratory or something like that and in italy forming long queues for facilities, right? But everybody had a place to stay and everything. Yeah. But there in near there in Navadeep, everyone came as soon as they came. Mahananda was there and he would have someone there with him who would take the bags and put them in the rooms and accompany the devotee and give them their keys and they would be provided with clean 
in, in the rooms there would be clean sheets and pillow and uh, and buckets buckets for bathing and everything like that. Well, it was very nice. And I remember, it wasn't there, but in Navadip, uh, about Navadip, Krishna Prima Tarangini, she made some plays, you know, showing a sophisticated person going, going to Navadip, you know, and saying, well, what facilities do you have for Wi-Fi and all this? It was, you know, a comical, it was a, a funny comment upon Western mentality meeting up with the simplicity of Navadip. It was very funny, very nice. Many stories, huh? Uh, <laughs> Many stories. Savakara kori jache basa grihastan maha prasadha savakari kori samadhan. Accommodations have been arranged for all the Vaishnavas. Now let us distribute Mahaprasadam to all of them. And do they always want to devote to Prasadam? Yeah. taking Prasadam? And if they go to Gurudev, they're not taking Prasadam? We are getting chastised. <laughs> Why did you take Prasadam? Gurudev, I couldn't stop them. They wanted to come to you first. <laughs> <laughs> I remember also one year, some devotees were, they came there and they felt, they, although the accommodation we felt were excellent, they felt a little, like, a little strained in some respects because they weren't in the Hilton Plaza or something like that. <laughs> and they made comments. But those same devotees coming there, it was, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't find it bad, it was just comical. But some of the devotees who came and complained, they were actually eating hard-boiled eggs on the train coming to Navadeep. <laughs> <laughs> and then they came there and found, found the facilities a little constrained. And it's like, what? You know, why? They didn't serve you eggs. Prabhu Kohe Gopinata Jaha Vaishnavaloya Jahan Jahan Kohe Vasa Tahan Dehaloya Mahaprabhu immediately told Gopinata Charya, please go with the Vaishnavas and accommodate them in whatever residence Kasi Misha and this temple superintendent offer. Mahaprasadana Deham Vaninata Stane Sarva Vaishnavera Iho Korive Samadhane Then the Lord told Kasi Misha and the temple superintendent, as for the as for Jagannath Prashad, let them let that be delivered to Vaninath Rai's charge, for he can take care of all the Vaishnavas and distribute Mahaprasadam to them. As for the remnants of food left by Lord Jagannath, let them be delivered to Vaninath Rai's charge, for he can take care of all the Vaishnavas and distribute Mahaprasadam to them. Amara Nikate E Pushpero Udyane. Ekani Gara Ache Parama Nirjane Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then said, Nearby my place in this garden of flowers is a single room that is very solitary. E Gara Amake Deho Ache Brayojan Nibrite Basia Tahan Koriba Samardan. Please give that room for me, for I have a need for it. Indeed, I shall remember the lotus feet of the Lord sitting in that solitary place. Okay, I'll, I'll take up this verse tomorrow and then we'll read from there. This last verse. Uh -oh.
Hare Hare Nama Krishna Janabai Nama Hare Hare Nama Krishna Jayam Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Charya Statara Sata Shishi Mad Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Kijai. 
Jayam Vishnupad Paramansa Parabhajaka Chari Ashta Tara Sata Shri Shimad Srila Bhakti Rakak Sri Radev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jayam Vishnupad Srila Gaur Kishor Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jayam Vishnupad Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jayam Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarvabhoma Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rubanuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai Namachari Srila Haridasa Kur Ki Jai Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghuna Sri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dash Raghuna Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Primzigo Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadan Harshivasadi Sri Gaurav Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Sri La Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Sri Chaitanya Chari Tamrita Ki Jai Srila Vrindavan Das Akur Ki Jai Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Ki Jai Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai Vishwavarinya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Manaras Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananda Koti Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai Sri Namadeep Dham Ki Jai Sri Namayapur Ki Jai Saparshita Sri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai Saparshita Sri Ma Prabhu Ki Jai Sri Kuladvip Ki Jai Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Sokeo Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevasham Ki Jai Ganga Devi Ki Jai Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Sri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Kovardhan Sham Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju Ki Jai Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Sri Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai Sri Pai Bhakti Chandan Parvat Maharaj Ki Jai Sri La Bhakti Ranjan Madhusuda Maharaj Ki Jai Sri Pai Bhakti Kamal Chagi Maharaj Ki Jai all the assembled devotees ki jai. Gaur Premanande. Shalom Bhakti Pabhanjana Maharaj ki jai.